pretty dope. And live stream, man. What's good, man? Back with another video. Moan it is. Got Vine. We rapping to that boy Boosie just got indicted by the feds after being his gun case. Let's see what's going on. Right, hold on, let me get y'all right. Yep. Four. Boosie took the Instagram with his family at Orlando's Volcano Bay. This celebration vacation would come after his federal gun case was dismissed, but the feds just had to fuck it all up. Boosie would take the Twitter stating, I'm on vacation with my family. My lawyer called me and said this federal prosecutor, M. Wheat, has indicted me again on the same charge and added a charge that I was a drug addict around a firearm. Shake my head. Why you didn't charge me with that the first time? The judges ruled at this point you're making this a circus. This has to be unconstitutional. This shows how far these devils will go to try and stop a successful black man with a voice. This man has a serious vendetta of hate against me. He wants to be a character in a movie. He just doesn't respect the courts. He's racist and has no respect for the courts. If I wasn't Boosie, this would not be happening to me. This same man looked at me and said, wipe me down on my first court appearance, lol. He's obsessed. I've never seen nothing like this in my damn life. 30 of us on vacation and I get this news. He put the hardest battles on his strongest soldiers. God got me. This man doesn't respect the law. Tell the president pardon this bullshit. That's deep, bro. Years later, this man want to send that body to, pr to prison. Man, man, boost. Crazy. I'm talking about on vacation? Well, uh, you know he got so many kids. So a family of 30 people. No way that man bringing that stuff out the mood like that. Justice for Boosie. Now this is devastating. News literally broke how Boosie was the first rapper and second person to have felony gun charges dismissed following USA vs. Duarte where it was ruled unconstitutional to ban nonviolent felons from possessing firearms. This was hope to the more than 19 million felons in the US that actual reform may be coming. Because it isn't just about changing your own actions. You could become the greatest man or woman after prison and still be held back by felony convictions, preventing you from voting, renting, working, and obviously the- He said voting, renting, you can't rent? God, you a feeling, but you just a nobody. You basically lose your whole identity. Now you can't rent. That's crazy. Right to arm and defend yourself. A felony is a lifelong scar that now former President Trump wears, like many of us, and this may be the start of a new beginning. So how the fuck were the feds able to reindict Boosie after the charges were already dismissed? On July 16, 2024, Boosie could be seen smiling on Vlad TV only four days after having his gun case dismissed. Over the next three days, more clips would drop, one of which Boosie and Vlad would address and laugh off the snitch allegations the internet tried to put on Boosie regarding his case. Nah, been no not bad. only did Boosie not have a co-defendant, he had a hired armed security guard whose sole purpose was to provide security with a gun. So I don't understand how Boosie telling the police that he didn't have any guns, but his security did, was snitching. Especially when Boosie mm -hmm. hired the motherfucker because he legally has guns and does security. But the end- What? I'm talking about they trying to take him out of any way possible, like, <laughs> they gotta call it snitching though? I don't know. I wanna tell his security went to jail? That what they trying to say? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That remains undefeated, and when Boosie's case was dismissed, they had no other explanation as to how he could have pulled it off except snitching. Well, here's the plot twist on July 19th, the same day the video came out, federal prosecutors filed a new indictment charging Boosie again with being a felon in possession of a firearm for the same Block 19 that he had dismissed on top of a oh, new no. charge for being an unlawful user or addict in possession of a firearm. 
The feds are now alleging that Boosie is an addict, as defined in Title 21 United States Code Section 802, which states, the term addict means any individual who habitually uses any narcotic drug Habitual. so as to endanger the public morals, health, safety, or welfare, or who is so far addicted to the use of narcotic drugs as to have lost the power of self-control with reference. I'm talking about an addict, though. They're trying to play this man as an addict. We ain't never seen Boosie be no crash dummy now. To be an addict, habitual. I don't even know what that word mean. That mean like habit. Consistent. Yeah. Nah, man. They got the worst way. So how the fuck does that apply to Boosie? <laughs> Looking at his arrest, Boosie could be seen in screenshots recovered by San Diego police smoking a suspected marijuana <laughs> joint. <laughs> oh when my the vehicle goodness. They saying he going crazy off marijuana. So if he going crazy off marijuana, why did they legalize it? In certain state, if marijuana is the worst drug, it's a narcotic. Why did why would you legalize something that made people crazy? And uh, what did it say, a narcissist to society? Oh, that's a crazy word. She was riding and was pulled over. Officers located a suspected marijuana joint in the center console of the vehicle. Being that this was in California, no one was charged with the joint, and it's unclear if the joint was even confiscated. It's also unclear how it's assumed to be Boosie's when three people were in the vehicle and Boosie was in the rear passenger seat, while the center console is typically used by the driver. United States prosecutor Michael Gary Wheat is now alleging Boosie is addicted to controlled substances and was using controlled substances while possessing. Look at this guy, man. He didn't know he ate yesterday, bro. Come on. Bugging out, bro. He just trying to get Yeah, with the red, white, and blue flag. Come on, man. That man's just want a trophy for arresting somebody, bro. If he take out Boosie, he the greatest, yada, yada, yada. Stop it. Passing the Glock 19. Federally, marijuana is still a Schedule One controlled substance, along with heroin and meth. So whoa, instead of whoa, clarifying... Whoa, 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 whoa. He said that? That's what it's scheduled. It's just, it's just what it is. It's what it's listed as. Marijuana is a schedule... One drug along with heroin, heroin and meth. And meth. So you telling me Why you label it as a schedule one drug, but you legalize it to let people use it. It don't make sense, bro. The laws, bro. That's why I am getting politics. Lucy allegedly smoked weed in the legalist state to smoke it, California. Mr. Wheat would use his 30 plus years experience as a federal attorney to make it sound as if Boosie was riding around with a Glock smoking meth. Now I'm interested in viewing how the feds will allege and they can, Boosie. And he can flip that narrative because it's in the same. So instead of saying he walking around marijuana, he was walking around with a schedule one drug. <sighs> Endangers public morals, health, safety, or welfare by smoking weed. Or how Boosie is so far addicted he's lost the power of self-control. Because that's the definition of an addict the feds are using. So that's essentially what they'll have to prove. Even looking at Boosie's criminal history, he was sentenced to eight years for possession of a controlled substance with intent to distribute, meaning he was selling, not using. He don't. He felt crazy, and the crazy thing is, Boosie, I just watched a video of Boosie not too long. He said he don't even smoke weed no more. He drink, but he get drunk stupid bad. So crazy, cuz. Also, be convicted of bringing drugs into prison after being caught trying to smuggle codeine. Now, it's well known that anyone caught with drugs requests rehab and will claim to be a user rather than a dealer because the punishment is less severe. But Boosie's criminal history clearly implies that he was in it for the money and not the high. So, what about double jeopardy? Double jeopardy prohibits anyone from being prosecuted twice for the same crime, but apparently, it doesn't apply until the jury has been sworn in and trial starts. The feds have a 98% conviction rate because almost every case ends in a plea deal before trial, and because Boosie's case never made it that far, the feds are apparently able to not only charge him again, but add on another crime. All these don't sound like the system is super corrupt. Like, I, like, it just, they trying to take him out of there in any way, form, or fashion. It's a dirty game. Prosecutors have requested Boosie turn himself in by noon on Wednesday the 24th, or they'd send U.S. Marshals after him. 
Imagine flying 30 members of your family down to Universal in Orlando to celebrate your freedom. And while at the theme park, you get a car that you've been reindicted and have to turn yourself into the feds immediately. Boosie's lawyer would file a motion to recall the warrant, which was granted, leaving Boosie with a court date on August 2nd. It's very possible they attempt to take him back into custody, forcing him to pay another six-figure bond, and it's likely this case will take another six months plus to come to a conclusion. We'll just have to wait and see if Boosie is able to win. So they can't even, like, second so they can't take him, like, so they can't. So the law has it where you can't be charged for the same thing as you already been proven innocent for or guilty for. But they can bring you to court on that. But when they get there, they can't charge you for it. So it's like a whole six months of nothing. One more class. They just want that they want that six figures up out that boy. They just want that money on. Him. They just want to bother him. That's all deep. Fight against the feds. Now this is got to be one of the most bullshit yeah. moments in hip hop. Like, like, what? More of the story, man. Stay out the street. Stay away from the feds. Stay away from the feds. Police, all that. Do rap. Don't go left. Do rap. If you is gonna go left, be the best person over there, boy. Best person to left feel it is. Catch. <laughs> they gonna catch. <laughs> Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and all that good stuff. Stay y'all, man.